What's up everybody? This is day two and day three update on my Crit Trapper in the Parandus League. I had to combine this video because I got sick on day three. So looking at the character, we're now level 73 and we've bought a few upgrades. I'm using a Divinarius which I bought from Kadiro for 1936 coins. Here's a look at some of the rare pieces that I bought. All of them were anywhere from one Alk to five Chaos each. I found this brimstone spiral ring. Uh, this necklace is pretty good, and I'm using a cloak of flame. This chest is so good because it's a low level unique. I believe you can start using it at level 18. Gives you chance to ignite, ignite duration, fire resistance, and it's got that physical damage mitigation through fire resist. Like the lightning coil, this is very similar, just not as strong, and uses fire instead of lightning. The only other unique that I'm using are a pair of face breakers. They're poor man's Malagaros. Everything else are just rares that I either found or I got for less than five chaos. I'm using a perpetual granite flask of staunching for Fizzmit on demand. Seething eternal life flask of staunching. This is not ideal, it's just what I could find. And we have another surgeons of staunching. Can't use surgeons that well uh, unless I'm using Orba Storms or my Herald of Thunder crits. Here we have Chemist Quicksilver Flask of Warning and Avengers Quicksilver Flask of Warning. It is worth noting that I did Cruel Azaro at level 58. I would probably recommend you do Cruel Azaro after you complete the Ship's Graveyard and Dweller of the Deep and Merciless. This will give you some skill point and level advantage. We are currently Deathless and as far as the Ascendancy we were finally able to ascend. We got Shaper of Desolation. This procs Conflux, and we have Beacon of Ruin. This is my Ellie Prolif to all my skills. As far as my bandits go, I went Oak and Normal for the HP, Aramir for the skill point and Cruel, and then I got the Endurance char Charge from Oak and Merciless for the extra Endurance Charge because I want to have good physical mitigation to deal with pesky porcupines and other things that do physical damage. It is also worth noting, when you get your mana in a good spot and you no longer need a mana potion for the regen, you can switch to the Perpetual Granite Flask of Iron Skin. I would put this at a high priority to be able to sustain. It only takes a matter of getting a few suffixes with mana regen or max mana. As you can see, I have 1164 max mana at the moment and I'm rocking a 67.4 mana regen per second passively. I'm able to achieve this with Deep Thoughts, the Starter Witch Node, we have Quick Recovery Wheel which gives mana regen, and I have some mana regen on my jewelry. And as for the gear and tree progression, I have updated that on the view thread in the description below. As for the skill progression right now, I'm headed towards Elemental Focus. I'm going to finish out that wheel and then pick up the Endurance Charge and probably pick up Melding to get more survivability. I plan on getting my final Ascendancy points in Merciless Azaro at around level 80. I realize I could do it much sooner than that, but I'm playing this as if I were playing hardcore and I want to keep this character deathless. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to catch me live on Twitch TV slash hegemony tv or post in the youtube comments below thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your continued support and i'll see you in the next video